welcome back to my channel. I'm Alma and I'm a part-time reseller on Poshmark, eBay, Mercari, and Depop. And today I have my weekly what's sold. It was pretty good. It's from 625 to 71. I will be looking down at my paper and I did have sales on four of my platforms, which that's very exciting. How is your weekend going today? What did you guys do this weekend? We did food trucks. We had food trucks in our area, so we wanted to check those out. And they had shaved ice, Hawaiian food, so we did all of that. And also I did garage selling, knock it off, go over there. <laughs> um, I did garage selling and I did some thrift stores. Um, not too many though. There wasn't a ton of garage sales because it is warm in my area. I think it's pretty hot. So I want to say that's why there wasn't a lot of them. Also, boys, go over there, <laughs> go play. <laughs> they definitely insist on being, I try to hide from them, but then they seem to find me wherever I'm at. Okay, there they go. They hear the car coming. But anyway, so the sales were really good. I Well, not really good, but they're getting better. Um, I think we're coming out of that summer slowdown. But anyway, let's begin with uh, Depop. They, they, I have one item sell on Depop on 625, a pair of men's cool shorts, K-U-H-L. That is a definite um, brand to look out for. I sell their jackets and their pants and they sell pretty good. The shorts, 30 bucks or so is what you're probably going to get. But I had a jacket, I think one time sell for like a hundred bucks. So cool. K-U-H-L is a really good brand to look out for as well. On Mercari, I had nine sales this week. Again, 625 to 71. On June 25th, I sold this Montana West. I know that on the ship with me, uh, was it a couple of weeks ago? Maybe I did that. Um, I think I shared that with you guys, but it was a Montana West American flag leather purse. It was blue and that one sold for $39. I love Montana West and I want to say that that was mine maybe. On another one on 625, it was Tiva Men's Fisherman Sandals. Um, that's a great brand. I think Tiva's good. I mean, it doesn't sell like as um, high as, like as high as Keen does, but when it's a fisherman sandal, I the man the brand does matter a little bit, but that style seems to sell because it's great for the outdoors, for hiking, for water, any outdoor activities. They're pretty much really good for that. So anyway, Teva or Teva, I'm not sure how you say that, but anyway, so that was a pretty cool sale right there. Let's go on to 626. Uh, let's see. Oh, these were Keen Keen uh, Rialto H2. Uh, sandal it was a men's sandal and those sold for $32 so a lot of sandals are moving still which is great and I also sold a, these were mine there were some purple crocs um, I bought them for myself I love purple it's my favorite color but I wasn't reaching for these too much so anyway let those go for $18 that's okay I mean they were mine I wore them I loved them for a while so that's okay. I wasn't expecting, but they were like in pristine condition. I wasn't expecting a ton of money for Crocs. They moved, but again, don't expect too much. So that was that. Let's see what else did we sell here on 627 Nike backpack. This was my daughter's backpack. She wasn't using it anymore and that sold for $15. So that was, that was good. And I was glad to see that go. She likes to get like a new backpack obviously at the beginning of every year so then that one was still in really good shape so I didn't throw it away I sold it and I got some money for it so that was cool so, oh this was so cool you guys I know I hauled this for you guys it was that gray Carhartt jacket the logo jacket it had like a little name of a subdivision I think on here uh, I can't remember I think it was like Somerset it was a small logo that sold so quick and it was made in the USA it's like a it's lined I don't know if it was lined uh like a black what was lying like uh with wool maybe i think it was but the made in the usa i have sold those jackets before and i kind of priced this lower the carhartt jackets i have sold them for 130 dollars before 140 but this one i priced it at 100 bucks because it had that logo on there and i remember telling you guys that the next day like there was another one made in the usa but the logo was huge on the back and I didn't want to pay the $8 for it that day. So like Monday was a half off and I was going to run after work to go pick it up, but it was gone. But anyway, back to this jacket. I want to say within minutes, I had like three offers on this jacket, but obviously I took the Mercari one. They offered me 80. 
I happily took that because the fees were less. I want to say I had one on Depop and one on Poshmark. So I went with the Mercari one and I was glad I did, but that sold super, super fast, even with that little tiny logo on there. So I always look out for the made in the USA ones. Those are the ones that sell for the most money. And that just proved it right there. This one also, you guys, so I guess the dates are going back and forth. I, the way the sales come up, it's like not in the order that they should, but anyway, this Pendleton little belt bag, I don't even know if I, I think I did haul it for you guys. That was an overnight full price sale of $75. And I want to say I paid $2 for this Pendleton little tiny belt bag. That I was super surprised. And that also sold on Mercari, which is great because the fees are the lowest there. So I've had some pretty good sales, like, you know, the return on investment. I love that. Like I am trying to be more selective when I'm out thrifting so I can ask for more money, you know, higher to get to, how do you say it, to thrift higher quality items so that warrant a bigger return for me. So that was that. Okay, the next one was, I think ours, it was a gift that we got. It was like a Bissell spot cleaner. It was brand new. It was just like a handheld one and that sold for $55. That did sit around, I wanna say for like a year or so, but I was glad to see it go because it was kind of big and not big, but you know, just taking up room. I don't do a lot of hard goods, um, but I just don't dabble on that too much. But the few things that I do seem to move pretty good. So that was good. These Justin boots were super beat up. That was on 629. There's some Justin boots. I remember, gosh, I took it took me forever to list these and I finally cleaned them up. They're super beat up. I think I thrifted them on dollar day. But anyway, I sold them for $30 on um, Mercari. So that was the last sale. Let me just check over my little list here that I got everything and i did let's see here yep i sure did so the grand total for that platform the gross was 366 dollars so not bad for mercari let's move on to ebay ebay had six sales okay so these um were the dansko frankie boots i know i think in my last what sold or in the one before that this day, I remember at the thrift store and I shared the haul with you guys, I think I picked up three of the same style boots. One of them sold right away at the, you know, like the same day I listed them. And these also sold um, probably a couple weeks later for $64.99. Because it's not a regular clog, the Dansko, the ones that I picked up were actually a little booty. And those seem to move way better. So those sold for $64.99. I still have one more pair to go. So yeah, definite pick, great pickup. I, when I saw those, I knew that definitely had to get them and they were, I maybe paid five bucks for those if that. On 628, I had two, three sales actually. Wait, wait a second. No, I'm gonna actually, sorry, I skipped one on 626. Of course, my Doc Martin Oxford wingtip uh, black, white women's, they were a size six. These sold for 94.50. Uh, yeah, tiny size. So they probably sat around for a couple of months and I don't know if I hauled these for you guys or not, but let's go back to 628. I had three sales, uh, Cabela's camel pants. I let those go for 10 bucks. I don't know if they were, if I thrifted them, if I did, they cost maybe a dollar or two. They had a stain. I remember on the pant leg. So when I got an offer of $10, I happily accepted that on another sale that day, 628 reef women's flip flops. These sold for 12 29. Reef is an okay brand. Um, you can expect 10 to 15 bucks for your flip flops. And then I sold a 628, a North Face fleece full zip up for $14.99. And I think this had a little defect like on the sleeve. It was like a tiny, almost, I forget, like almost like a pinhole one. But of course I pointed that out and, and the listing and that sold for $14.99. Let's see, what else do we have here? Okay, these, okay, I have one on 630. These were some Zara pull-on faux leather boots. These are a size eight, and these are uh, sold for $28.69. And I know I got these at a garage sale for at the most $2. So those were my six sales for eBay with a gross of $225.46. So I was still happy to see some sales on eBay. 
Poshmark, I had the most sales with 11 sales this week. So let's begin again from 625 to 71 is the week that I'm covering. So I sold on 625, I had two sales. Yeah, two sales. Vintage, okay, this was, I know I did not haul for these for you guys. I got these at a garage sale and they were some, they were the brand something else by Skechers. And I remember a long time ago, I picked up the same kind of style boots, chunky Y2K, and they sold pretty quick. So when I saw these, they, they looked almost new. I paid $5 for them at a garage sale. I barely listed them on Poshmark when I got an offer of 40 bucks. So I happily accepted those. And I was kind of like, oh my gosh, why did I pick that up? It was a small size, yada, yada. But anyway, I put all my keywords in there, Y2K, chunky, platform, you name it, it sold in minutes, seriously, for 40 bucks. So I will always look out for that style. So yep, Y2K, something else, Spice Skechers. And they weren't even leather, they're like a faux leather. Um, so that was cool. This next one was mine. It was a vintage coach saddle bag, a messenger bag. It was a model number 8627, super sweet sale for $87. So happy to see that go. Again, I've eliminated most of my, my personal Doc Martin collection and then my coach purse. I didn't have too many of those, but so now I just kind of like, I love the vintage coach and I love um, also sourcing the Doc Martens like wherever I can, especially on Marketplace. But anyway, so on 626, I had sold some Puma sneakers. These were almost new, but they sat around way too long. So I sold those for 20 bucks. 627, let me see. Okay, these were cool. I got these at a yard sale. They were women's size 12. Ultra women's sneaker size 12. These sold for 55 bucks. I still have one more pair. And I wanna say I got these at a garage sale for $5. So that was really amazing. 620, another one on 627. Okay, it was the men's, it was some brand new men's. The brand was Banks Journal. I'd never heard of this brand, but I picked them up because they had a pretty decent um, sell through rate. So I picked those up and I sold them for 25 bucks. I might have paid $2 for those or so. If I saw that again, I don't know if I would pick those up again. I don't know. Nothing was super intriguing or interesting about the shorts. But anyway, I bought them, so I listed them. 628 i had two sales okay i had more keens on 628 keens presidio women's mary janes um eight and a half size eight and a half and they sold for 25 bucks these rock revival men's uh jeans i sourced i showed these to you guys like a couple of weeks ago rock revival sells super quick especially the men's and these had that um heel drag on the bottom they had a little bit of damage but it's okay, I got a super quick offer on those for 40 bucks. So they were a size 40 waist, so that was a great size on those. And I, yeah, let those go for 40 bucks right away, so what a great, great flip. Okay, 629, I sold a Torrid push-up bra, a pink one, it was 20, for 24 bucks. I don't know, if, I don't think it was new, I don't remember, but anyway, the Torrid bras sell pretty good. When I picked them up for a couple of bucks or so, um yeah so i don't mind paying up just a couple bucks it's fine and let me see on 6 30 i sold these justin women's boots for 50 dollars uh they were a size nine it says excellent use condition here so i sold this for 50 dollars, and i probably got these also for five dollars or so and my last sale this was my purse i didn't use it much i know i got this at a garage sale too or i thrifted it it was an STS Ranchwear Leather Crossbody Purse. That sold for 45 bucks. That wasn't listed too long, but so there we go. And my, oh no, actually, I think there might be more on the next page. Let's take a look. One more. Of course, Doc Martens, Martin's Emily Pewter Metallic Boots. These were mine. And again, I pretty much got rid of all of them. What I'm kind of doing now is like just sourcing them but these are still mine. They were beautiful, almost new. They were ribbon metallic and I probably wore them once or twice and I sold these for $90. So awesome sale there. Let's see. And so my gross for Poshmark was $501. So awesome there. And so now let's get go over my gross total for all four of my platforms. For the one week was $1,122.60. Minus cost of goods and platform fees is $791.15, which I get to put into my bank account. Uh, so sales are definitely, I think, looking up. 
Um, and again, I in between there, you guys know I have a ton of like no sales days as well, but I just, I am trying to still list, not by the day, um, because I just been kind of tired and stuff. So at least I'm trying to do minimum three to five. So like today's the weekend, it's Saturday. I'm going to definitely try to do five, but I'm trying to be consistent like every single day, um, either ending listings and sell similar on eBay, just something to get sales moving. And I pretty much accept, you know, obviously a reason, pretty much any reasonable offer. Um, so sh let me know down below how you guys are doing. Are your sales picking up? Let me know what you guys are up to this weekend. Again, please like uh, and subscribe and share my video so I can continue. I love doing these kind of videos for you guys. I love the YouTube content, doing YouTube content. And so anyway, I will see you guys soon with uh, my garage sale thrift haul from today. Again, there is I think one or two winners in there, but I can't wait to share that with you guys, okay? So anyway, leave me a comment below and we'll talk to you guys soon, bye.